Well, John Joe, as usual, a, a powerful squad for this year's festival, and Tack Indesoy heads them. Yes, he's um, done nothing wrong this year, really. He jumps well and he travels well. Done it all on soft ground. Um, so, um, he's, yeah, he's very exciting. He's done things, he's gone the right way, and we're very happy with him. And the Neptune looks a really competitive race, the likes of Pont Alexandra and the new run up against him. I think it's the race of the week, isn't it? You know, it's a real hot race, really. But uh, you know, the horse is in great form, and uh, we had also entered him in the three mile, but um, we're unproven at three mile, really. And he was um, beaten by my 10 to use over two, so he's plenty of pace, really, a good traveller. I'd be a bit nervous going too far with him at the moment, so that's why we decided to go on the two mile and, um, sorry, the two and a half mile. Um, hope for the best. Do you see him as a hurdler or a chaser in the making? He's big enough to go fences. He's a lovely type of horse. He's, he's, he's one of the nicest horses I've had through the yard, really. He's a real lovely horse and lovely horse to deal with. Very easy, normal ride good clean winded horse and uh, so long as we can keep him safe and sound now for a few years we'll have a lot of fun with him whether he stays hurling or go chasing well remains to be seen but um, whatever he does will be nice and no doubt one of your most popular runners at this year's festival will be Alberta's run uh, Alberta's has been a superstar to everybody really um, he's he's in grand form he hasn't run because the ground was so bad all along he's useless and he doesn't try very hard on us you know and um, um, he went to Kempton the other day for a spin around and <laughs> he didn't do a whole lot there either he's getting a bit older and wiser but he's in good form and if we could just get a bit of sun in his back for a couple of weeks just now would be ideal because he really turns the corner when when it comes to spring and uh, and Sunny Hill boys a bit like that as well they love a bit of sun in their back in the field and uh, Hopefully we'll get a bit of that and um, hopefully he'll come here and put up a good show, you know. A long layoff didn't seem to do him any harm last year. No, he's, he's, um, he just takes motivating really. Um, that, that won't be his problem really. He is a year older and like us all he's got a few more problems but he's, we, seem, we think we can handle him so uh, we're, happy with his, we're happy with him at the moment. And there's no big bucks in the world hurdle. Is that going to tempt you to go there with uh, Get Me Out of Here? Yeah, it is actually. Um, he's been beaten around here over two miles and, and two and a half. He's unbeaten at three, so because um, he hasn't run over that. But uh, I'd like to give him a try at it. We've always felt, or I've always felt as a younger horse, that he would get further, you know. But then he was doing so well at two and two and a half, we kind of kept him that way. Um, so um, maybe we should give him a try at three this time, but uh, I haven't, we haven't decided yet. We'll have a word with Frank and uh, have a chat about it and see where we'll go. But it, it looks tempting to me. It certainly looks a wide open race this year. Yeah, well, when you've no big bucks, like it throws the whole thing wide open. Listen to some very good horses in there, obviously. But um, he's also a very good horse, so let's have a go. The National Hunt Chase is a race you've got a fantastic record in. Um, looking at your entries for it this year, um, who are the likely starters? Uh, Murray King is in it. Um, he's only six year old. He would suit the race for me because um, he's he's a grand. Even though he's a he's a grand jumper and he's um, he's a good ride. You know, he's not a he's easy to settle in that. You know, so I think. You never know whether they get the trip or not until you run, but I think he would be an ideal type for us, really. But he's also in the Kim Muir and the JTL, but um, I'd say it'd be the Kim Muir or, or, or the four mile. And no doubt a few more targets to be worked out with your handicap chasers. Any you're particularly looking forward to, to seeing at the festival? Well, I'm looking forward to them all. They're all so far so good. They're all in good form. So if they can turn up on the day like this, I'll be very happy. Um, and the ground is drying out a bit, so you know it'll be f good, fair racing for everybody. So it's listen, it's so exciting and fantastic. You can't wait for it to happen, really. You know, but but these few few days or few weeks on the prep up to it, and every little thing going wrong and a little squeak here and there, it's like nerve wracking. But it, that's what it's all about. So we're looking forward to it. And what about the handicap hurdlers? Mr. Watson shut the front door um, among your, your team. Are they the names to look out for? Yeah. Um, shut the front door, I thought, was very novice here yes, um, at Carlisle. Um, 
and you you have to you have to wing around here and you you've got to jump and you you can't be spending 10 minutes in the air you know he, he we think he's a nice horse and we think he'll make into a really nice chaser um i I'd, I'd, I'd like to think he'll run a good race but I, i'm i'm a bit nervous about him being a bit nervous really you know what about mr watson tony mccoy got down to a lightweight last time but didn't sound too enthusiastic about doing doing the same again for him. <laughs> no, well, as we all know, the races here are a lot more competitive than them. But uh, he, the horse isn't great for him. He's in the county and he's in the coral. Um, I don't know if AP can ride him or not. I'm not sure what JP is in those races. But um, if he can ride him, that would sway me whichever way. If he could ride him in one of the races. Um, so until we know that really we won't really making any decisions but hopefully he's in great form and he'll come here and run a big race but he's a big strong devil really but I never had any problem holding horses here at Cheltenham it's to get him to go fast enough was my problem <laughs> so um, um, I don't think it really matters obviously we'd love AP to ride him but after that we'll um, let him roll and looking at your team as a whole best chance of a winner? I think Tarquin the Sewell I know it's a very hot race, but I, just, I love the horse. I think he's a really nice horse, so um, he's my nap.